doing today so in today's video i have a 2001 toyota celica shout out to scotty kilmer for you know giving us this inspiration so today i'm here with fabian, fabian. Yeah. mr fabian here today is the owner mr fabian here is the owner of the toyota celica and uh i will be asking fabian some questions about the vehicle because really really i couldn't resist talking to Fabian about the vehicle so Fabian back to you right. I got a question this vehicle do you like the vehicle yeah I like it uh, I think the, the most question that most people would like to know is is the vehicle reliable just like you know how everyone online talks about Toyota Celica's you know being a reliable vehicle is this one reliable has this vehicle been reliable for you yeah so far I mean I've had it for about three or four months Three, or, three yeah. or four months, and uh, yeah, go on. Had 189,000 miles on it. It's been running ever since. About probably ran about 5,000 miles on it or so far. Wow. So, uh, well, the gas mileage. Let's talk about the gas mileage. How much gas does this vehicle get? Does it help you financially when oh, yeah. it comes to gas mileage and stuff? How much do you? How much gas do you buy in the vehicle, and how long does it last you? About 22 dollars to fill it up. That's full tank, you know, four four hundred miles. I'd say. Oh. Cool. Yeah, within a week, you know, you fill it up next week. <laughs> wow, okay. Pretty neat, pretty neat. You said it's uh while we was talking before the video started, you said it's a four cylinder. Yeah. And I'm uh, uh what what's the uh the speed like? You know, the speed let's talk about speed. What is the speed like? I'd say it tops off around one fifteen. One fifteen? Yeah, it's not the GTS model. Okay, have you ever, you know, like redlined a vehicle before while driving? <laughs> okay. okay, so oh, uh, four four cylinder. The air condition still works. The uh, the heat still works. Let's take a look. Let's take a look inside. There you go. I mean, pretty pretty pretty. Is a fixer upper? Do you call it fixer upper? Yeah. Let's take a look at that. So I will let Fabian do the honors of getting in the vehicle and uh, starting the vehicle up so we can listen to how the vehicle sounds. Let's go. Well, just sounds like a normal four cylinder engine vehicle. No, you know, no biggie about it, but pretty neat for a four cylinder and it should last a long, you know. If you know about the Celicas, you will know that uh, they last long, apart from the fact that you see the paint yeah, is going off. The paint is going off. I have the same problem with my own 2006 uh, 4Runner. The same problem. The pa paint that, you see, should I say, fading off by itself? And I mean, that's better than the engine putting on you. So if the paint can actually fade off and you, ha you still have the engine and the vehicle drives, you don't have a problem. So uh, let's get into the vehicle and let's see the inside. And please do not mind all that dirt and stuff. This, this is what you get when you're from the countryside. <laughs> so, like I said before, guys, I'm about 6'2", six, six and let's look at my head. <laughs> pretty neat, pretty neat. No problem. Uh, just got an aftermarket uh, radio in there. Yeah. Air condition works. You got the light, time, and everything in there. It's got about two, two thirty-three thousand, one ninety-two thousand yeah, now. So you're still starting up anyway. There's not a lot of miles on the vehicle. Yeah, there's, there's no whole miles. So let's take a look that's at the bag. Way. It's got bucket seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's pretty neat. That is pretty neat. Can you fit a person back there? To the back can you fit someone in there to the back in the back seat uh, you mean like on the trunk uh-huh no 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 to oh. the back seat can a person sit back there yeah they can sit back there oh okay that's cool that's yeah. cool take a look at that uh, a that's a little bit broken but yeah. that doesn't matter plastic what i always say if your vehicle can drive you don't have a problem no. if your vehicle can drive you to point a to point b then you're good to go what is that that's your mask. Console. We're staying on that mask right there. Please don't deny that mask. <laughs> does this come on? Uh, no, the screen doesn't come on, but... But yeah, it does but, work. Yeah, it does work. Yeah, okay, fair enough. 
Alright, now I've got the Mario Jersey handbrake right there. Uh, we got the glove bash yeah. right there. I'll come out. Yeah. There you go. So, I will let uh, Fabian, let's see the engine. So, let's take a look at the engine bay. Uh, if I can get this. Okay. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah. That's it. The VBT. I I can't remember the full meaning of the VBT. Uh, I don't know, but it's a VBT high. If you know, please put it in the comment section and you know let us know what you think. That's uh, alternator. Looks like a working space here where you can change the alternator and uh, uh, the compressor, that's quite easy to get to. That's quite easy. A mechanic would like to work on that because it's quite easy, but the, what about the spark plugs? They ain't here, they're probably somewhere here or something. But I mean, it still looks clean. The inch, this looks clean. No all leakages and nothing in there, so. That's pretty neat. Oh, you got a new battery? Yeah. yeah that's neat, that's good. New battery, new spark plugs. The alternator was recently trying to change it out. Uh huh. Yeah, all that really. Uh, new throttle piston sensor. Okay. Yeah, because the other one was kind of acting up. Oh yeah. It's on. It's a newer one. Oh okay. It's not a really good problem. Oh okay. Because I had, I also had a little problem with my vehicle that says the throttle body sensor was bad. It was throwing that code. Yeah. But then guess what? I took, I bought me a MEF sensor cleaner, mm -hmm. and I took it out, and I washed the uh, sensor. I brought it out of the vehicle and I cleaned it, the throttle body with the with the airflow sensor cleaner, yeah. and boom, the code went away. And yeah. Yep. Yeah, solved the problem. There we go. There's your tire. Yeah, those are, uh, <laughs> <laughs> matter. It's, it looks clean. <laughs> well, anyway, so he's gonna go into the vehicle and he's gonna drive the vehicle, and we'll see how it goes. So let's go. Okay, so this is Fabian driving the vehicle. Wow. Well, the vehicle's got speed to it anyway, you know. That is pretty neat. That is pretty neat. That is pretty neat. How, 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 do you normally go fast on this vehicle? No. No, you don't? You don't redline or nothing? You just no. drive normal. How, how, what's the highest speed you've ever been on this, you ever driven on this vehicle? The fastest? Yeah, the fastest. Uh, 115. 115? Yeah. Oh. Okay, me? I've never done that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I really appreciate the fact that you let us, you know, make a video with your vehicle. And uh, thank you for that. I really appreciate that. He's a nice guy. Fabian is a nice guy, everyone. So anyway, appreciate that. Thank you. And uh, guys, if you love what you see and you enjoy looking at such videos and stuff that I ask people, you know, to make a video about their vehicles, please subscribe, share the video, like the video, you know, make a comment. Dislike the vehicle. Dislike the video. It is what it is. Thank you and stay blessed and goodbye.